I know what y'all are thinking about damn time. No, you probably weren't thinking that, were you? You're probably thinking, JT, that was a weak pun. And maybe you're right. But you might have been thinking, the Hoover Dam. So what, JT? It's a hydroelectric dam. So what? It blocks the Colorado River and creates like meat. So what? And I'm going to show you so what. It's more than what it seems. Let's take a look. This is what. Yeah. Did you guys know that there was creepy angels on top of the Hoover Dam? Sitting on weird black cubes? Yeah, that's strange, right? What are they doing on top of the Hoover Dam? Maybe we should take a closer look at one of them. Yeah. That's weird, right? That's kind of ominous looking. Sinister, even. What is that doing on top of the dam? Maybe we should look at some more pictures for some context, shall we? Yeah, okay, so um, there's a compass with um, astrology, some zodiac signs on it. Uh, maybe the angels are related to the, um, you know, the sign of Taurus, maybe? I don't know, let's keep looking. Maybe it's this. This pyramid pointing out this, this strange word, Thuban. Actually, Thuban comes from an Arabic word that means large serpent or dragon. Huh, you guys making any connections? Large serpents, dragons, angels. Huh. I don't know. Maybe. Let's look at another picture. Hey, check it out. That's pretty cool. An eagle right in front of those angels. And the wings are kind of doing something a little odd. They're kind of going up and there's this light going backwards. You know what that kind of looks like? It kind of looks like a Freemasonry compass and square. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Suddenly, this is making a lot of sense. Let's take a look at one more picture. So what we have here is a memorial plaque to commemorate the over 100 men who lost their lives building this dam. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I find this inscription a little bit creepy. They died to make the desert bloom. What's that supposed to mean? Is the implication that they couldn't build the dam without the death? That the desert couldn't bloom without the sacrifices? Are they talking about a hydroelectric dam? Are they talking about Baal in ancient Mesopotamia? I don't know. Maybe the angels and the weird astrology does actually make sense after all. So now let's take a deep dive and get into more of this stuff and some things you haven't seen. There's a star map located at the Hoover Dam. Now, you see this picture here? Alcyone is a star system located in the constellation of Taurus. It's actually the brightest star in the Pallades. The Pallades is actually mentioned in the Bible in Job chapter 38. It says, quote, Can you bind the chains of Pallades? Can you loosen Orient's belt? You'll notice that in Job 38, it's in the context of binding. The star is a metaphor for an angel, and there is a legendary giant named Alcyonus, a star child, a hybrid angel human, Nephilim. Legend has it he was created to destroy the gods. Is Alcyone the named star of the star map at the dam, indicating that Alcyonus is a subject of magical binding at the facility? I guess this should be no surprise that there's a Masonic Lodge called the Alcyone Lodge. Also notice this interesting looking plaque that they have at the Hoover Dam. Uh, the Latin actually says nothing without the deity. Gee, I wonder what deity they're talking about. And notice the flooring. Isn't it quite similar to the symbol of the black sun? Next we have Madonna here, dressed as Baphomet, posed in front of a throne that looks strangely a lot like the Hoover Dam. And not only that, she's in a squatting birthing position. You know how your water breaks just before the baby comes? I guess the joke is on Baphomet because he's not going to birth the baby. The baby that's going to be born is in Revelation chapter 12, and that would be the church. That would be us. I guess he's going to try, and he's probably trying now. 
But Revelation chapter 12 says, And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death.